I beat the crap out of this rack, the Fitness Reality 810 XLT, which is Amazon's most popular rack. And in this review, we're gonna find out if that popularity is deserved. Did I go a little overboard? Sure, but what good is a review without some thorough testing? And while I don't recommend dropping bars and beating up equipment, believe me, this poor bar is poopy. You have to remember, I'm a professional idiot, and if this can withstand my stupidity, then with a competent person, it'll be fine. We've had this rack for a few weeks now, and to keep this review legitimate, I've used it for all of my workouts during that time. And I'll be honest, this thing surprised me a bit. I'm used to overbuilt 3x3 racks that are as American as they come, but this one is held up to my dramatic tests and workouts pretty well. And as a rack that's under $300, I'd say it's performed better than I would have thought. When buying a rack, there's two primary things I care about. One, safety, and two, versatility. And there are a few ways to build off this thing, which we'll get to, but first let's cover safety because that's what I care about most because I need to know if I'm gonna be okay if things go wrong because I'd prefer not to die in here alone or worse, on camera. So I decided with this rack, I wanted to do some tests to see how it would hold up in the worst of circumstances. But I've also been working on a video about the differences in rack safety systems, whether that's flip down safeties, safety straps, pins, or bailing. So subscribe so you don't miss that one, but I needed equipment that my wife wouldn't end my life over if it got damaged for these videos, enter this rack. And before I forget, we'll be giving this rack away. Well, not this exact one. I don't think anyone would want it after what I've done to it, but I'll buy the winner a new one, which is another reason to subscribe, right? Look what I've become. I'm attempting to buy your love. And if you'd like to buy my love, you can check out the links of the items we talk about in this video in the description. Any good full rack, in my opinion, should have some type of safety mechanism. Now, admittedly, I don't really like pin safeties because they're kind of clunky to set up and adjust, but I have to admit they work. I do a lot of pin work in my programming and these have held up surprisingly well. Sure, one is a little bent from those drop tests, but, ooh, that sounded awful. But for those of you that don't spend all of your time trying to get people online to accept you, they'll serve their purposes. I'm just gonna leave that like that. For those tests, I wanted to see the stability of the rack and the strength of the safeties. So I worked my way up to that 315 pound drop. Just ignore how stupid my face looks in those drops. I always look that dumb when I lift or maybe I'm really just that attractive. Obviously these pins work. They're just a solid piece of steel, though you could put pool noodles on them or a piece of PVC if you don't want metal on metal contact because it can and probably will damage your bars knurling. But this is a pretty cheap bar that I purposely use for those tests. The rack itself is fairly stable, though it's not gonna blow you away. And because it's so lightweight, it'll move some during use, but it should keep you safe. And the two added back braces here add a little bit of stability, though they can kind of get in the way as well. If you're really rough when racking your weights, you could definitely tip it or it'll at least move some. Or if you were to fall forward, there's definitely potential to flip this thing, which is why I'd add some weight horns to the back, whether that's the ones Fitness Reality makes or another company's. But weighing this thing down, even if it's just one set of weight horns on the bottom, would keep this rack from moving so easily and make it a little more stable. And it's definitely something I recommend. That being said, this rack has exceeded my expectations when it comes to holding up to my abuse. This is a flat foot rack, so it doesn't need to be bolted down. And it's a fairly short rack, so if you're in a basement, that be, may be better for you. And it also has a fairly small footprint, at least compared to my other racks, but I've been told size doesn't matter. And those racks do cost 10 times what this did. That being said, I do find the interior width, which is just under 24 inches, to be a little tight in my opinion, though I've been able to make it work. Before we get too far into this, I have to give props to my wife because she actually fully assembled this thing on her own at about seven and a half months pregnant, which is 
first of all, a testament to her, but also says something about how light and easy to move around this rack is. And if you're thinking, wouldn't a good husband have been there to help? That's fair, but I was too busy being dramatic and freaking out editing another video the night before it came out. So it's not a great excuse, but here we are. The packaging is okay, and everything is individually wrapped with cardboard on the corners to protect it from dings, though mine did get a few there, because it's all kind of packed so tight together in there that things can still move around some, but this is a pretty high value rack at $250 to $300 ship, so it's hard to complain very much there. Let's talk about how versatile this rack is, which means can you do enough with it so that it'll keep you interested in working out at home because even a budget rack like this needs to be able to grow with you. This is a two by two rack with 14 gauge steel, one inch holes and three inch hole spacing, which are important specs because they let us know what attachments will fit onto this rack. Fitness Reality does have a few accessories for their rack, which can add a lot of possibilities to your workouts, like their landmine or lat pulldown. And I should mention adding the lat pulldown is another way to make this rack more stable, but their offerings are pretty slim. And for a rack to be versatile, it has to offer a little more. Luckily, this has a very similar build to Titan Fitness's T2 Power Rack, which is also a two by two rack with one inch holes, which means these holes, while not the tightest, will allow you to put a lot of things into them, which in return means you'll have a lot of fun with this rack because Titan has a larger selection of attachments. So for example, you could put their Sandwich J cups on here because these, these are more like A cups. Actually, these are just bad. There's no height to them, so you're gonna be constantly bouncing your bar off the uprights. And the finish on them, well, maybe this is chrome up here on the top, maybe it's chrome paint. Whatever it is, I'm pretty forgiving at this price range, but I'd probably still just wait for an extreme Titan sale and get theirs because it's a night and day difference. Anyway, I went on a bit of a tangent there. There's a few differences between the two racks, but the one that may matter the most if you're swapping attachments between them is in the hole spacing. Titan has a two inch hole spacing versus three here. So if any of Titan's attachments uses a second hole, like their roller J cups, that security pin isn't going to line up. I technically use Titan's rollers and other attachments like their spotter arms on my Rogue Rack for years without the pin and they worked, but I'm not legally saying it was a good idea. While we're talking about hole spacing, at this price, you're not getting laser cut hole indicators, but every three holes, they do have this little notch here, which helps you to line things up across the rack. And it's a nice touch, but if that doesn't work for you, you can always make your own markings like we used to. We've actually talked about this rack in a few of our build videos, like our most recent $1,000 Amazon budget video, where I mentioned how I've seen people convert it to a six post or safety straps added to one, but I've seen a lot more than that done to them. I've seen lever arms thrown on, spotter arms from Titan added, Hell, I've seen Titan Stealth leg press on one. So while this is a bare bones budget rack and it has the basic essentials like a pull up bar and safeties, the fact that you can get creative and build on it means you at least won't outgrow it right away. And if you have one of these things at home and you've added on to it, let us know in the comments so other people can use those comments as a resource for their builds. Now, is it better than my three by three racks? No, the build quality on those racks is leagues ahead of this and they have nearly an unlimited amount of options for attachments and ways to build off of them since three by three racks are the most popular line of racks, or at least that's what companies have been innovating on and have been pushing for years. And they're also rock solid, so they're gonna be a little bit safer, but are you really gonna get any stronger spending thousands of dollars on a rack Probably not. People have been finding ways to get really strong and have done more with less well before home gyms became status symbols. You do have to forgive some of its shortcomings, but as a rack that's probably best defined as good for the price or as a starter rack or a way to find out if a home gym is for you, you could definitely do much worse than this rack. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video right here. I actually have no idea what it is. That's just YouTube's algorithm, but I swear it'll be good. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to help us on that algorithm. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.